Today is a new day, a gift from your gracious hands, and I acknowledge that every breath I take is because of your goodness. Lord, as I begin this day, I recognize that without you, I can do nothing. But with you, all things are possible. Your word says that your mercies are new every morning, Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23, and I receive those fresh mercies today. Father, I want to walk in the fullness of your blessings. I want to declare your promises over my life, over my family, over my work, and over every aspect of this day. I trust that as I speak these words, I am sowing seeds of faith that will yield a harvest of peace, joy, and provision in due time. Lord, thank you for waking me up today. I don't take this moment for granted. You are the giver of life, and every day you give is an opportunity to experience your love in a deeper way. Father, as I rise, I choose to rise in faith, knowing that you have gone ahead of me to prepare every step I take. You are the author of my life, and you have written a story of hope, victory, and blessing for me. I declare that I will walk in that story today. I will not be swayed by fear or doubt because I trust in the plans you have for me, plans to prosper me and not to harm me, to give me a future filled with hope, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Thank you, Father, for the grace that carries me through every challenge. Your grace is more than enough for me, and I am grateful for your unending favor. Even when I fall short, your grace lifts me up, and you call me beloved. Let this truth resonate in my heart today. Let me never forget that I am loved, forgiven, and chosen by you. Father, I declare that today is a day of divine provision. You are Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides, and I trust you to meet every need in my life today. Your word says that you supply all my needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus, Philippians 4 verse 19. I believe that, Lord. I stand firm on the promise that there is no lack in my life because you are my shepherd, and I shall not want. Psalm 23 verse 1 Father, let your provision flow into my life today, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and financially. I declare that I have everything I need to accomplish every good work you have set before me. I thank you, Lord, that even when challenges arise, I will not be shaken. I will not worry or be anxious because you are my source. You are my provider, and you never fail. Just as you provided for the Israelites in the desert with manna from heaven, you will provide for me. I declare that doors of opportunity are opening for me today, that favor is going before me and surrounding me as a shield. Every place I set my foot will be blessed because I walk in the power and authority of your word. Lord, I declare that your protection is over me and my family today. You are my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust, Psalm 91 verse 2. I plead the blood of Jesus over every aspect of my life, over my home, my family, my workplace, and every step I take. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment shall be condemned, Isaiah 54 verse 17. Father, I believe that your angels are encamped around me, guarding and protecting me in all my ways, Psalm 91 verse 11. I reject every plan of the enemy against me, and I declare that today, I walk in victory. Lead me, Lord, by your Holy Spirit. Guide me in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Keep me from walking into temptation, and deliver me from all forms of evil. Father, 
I trust that you will light my path today. Let your word be a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119 verse 105. Direct my thoughts, my decisions, and my actions so that I may walk in alignment with your will. I surrender my plans to you, knowing that your ways are higher than mine, and your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. Isaiah 55 verse 9. I trust that you will guide me with wisdom, clarity, and discernment. I declare, Lord, that today, I will walk in your perfect peace. Your word says that you keep in perfect peace those whose minds are stayed on you because they trust in you, Isaiah 26 verse 3. I set my mind on you today, Father. I will not let worry, fear, or anxiety take hold of my heart because I know that you are in control. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4 verse 7. Father, I also declare that today, I will walk in joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength, Nehemiah 8 verse 10, and I will rejoice in you always. Even in the midst of trials, I will praise you. Even when circumstances are tough, I will choose joy because you are my hope and my salvation. Your word says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning, Psalm 30 verse 5. I receive that joy right now, Lord. Let your joy fill my heart and overflow into every interaction I have today. May my joy be contagious to those around me, lifting them up and bringing light to their lives. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness. You are a God who never fails. You have been with me in the past, you are with me now, and you will be with me in the future. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever, Hebrews 13 verse 8. Your word is true, and your promises are sure. I am grateful for your steadfast love, which endures forever. Even when I face uncertainty, I am confident that you are working all things together for my good, Romans 8 verse 28. Thank you, Father, for your constant provision, protection, and guidance. Thank you for blessing me abundantly so that I may be a blessing to others. I pray that you continue to use me as a vessel of your love and grace. Help me to speak words of life and encouragement to those I encounter today. Let my actions reflect your heart, bringing hope, peace, and love to those in need. Father, just as you heard the prayer of Jabez, I come boldly before your throne, asking that you bless me and enlarge my territory. 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10 Expand my influence, Lord. Open doors that no man can shut. Let your hand be with me, guiding me in every endeavor. Bless me abundantly so that I may be a blessing to others. I declare that my life will be a testimony of your goodness, and through me, others will come to know your love. Lord, I declare that today I will walk in your divine purpose. You have created me with a unique plan and calling, and I step into that purpose with confidence. I trust that you have ordered my steps, Psalm 37 verse 23 and that everything I encounter today is part of your divine plan for my life. Let nothing be wasted, not a single moment, not a single conversation. Use everything for your glory. I pray that you help me to see beyond the natural and to recognize your hand at work in every detail of my life. Father, I declare that your favor surrounds me like a shield, Psalm 5 verse 12. Everywhere I go, I walk in your favor. In my workplace, in my relationships, in my home, your favor is evident. 
Doors are opening for me that I did not expect, and opportunities are coming my way that only you could orchestrate. I trust that your favor will lead me into places of influence, where I can make a difference for your kingdom. Your favor not only brings blessings to my life, but also allows me to bless others, to be a light in the darkness, and to extend your love to those who need it most. Lord, I also declare healing and wholeness over my life today. Your word says that by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed, Isaiah 53 verse 5. I believe in your healing power, Father. Whether it is healing in my body, healing in my mind, or healing in my spirit, I receive it today. I declare that sickness has no place in my body, fear has no place in my mind, and despair has no place in my heart. I am made whole by the power of your love and the blood of Jesus. I trust you, Lord, to restore everything that is broken or lost in my life. Your word says that you heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds, Psalm 147 verse 3 and I claim that healing for myself and for those around me who are in need of it today. Father, I declare that today I will walk in strength and courage. Your word reminds me to be strong and courageous, for you are with me wherever I go, Joshua 1 verse 9. I will not be afraid or discouraged, for you are my strength. Even when I face difficulties, I will stand firm in faith, knowing that you are fighting for me. I declare that I have the strength to overcome every obstacle, the wisdom to navigate every challenge, and the courage to pursue the dreams you have placed in my heart. Thank you, Lord, for equipping me with everything I need to fulfill the calling you have given me. When I feel weak, I know that your strength is made perfect in my weakness, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. I trust that you will renew my strength as I wait on you, and I will soar on wings like eagles, run and not grow weary, walk and not faint, Isaiah 40 verse 31. A blessings over family, friends, and community. Lord, I declare your blessings over my family today. I speak life, peace, and joy into the lives of my loved ones. I pray for your protection over them, that you would guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Let your presence surround them wherever they go. For my children, I pray that you would guide their steps and fill their hearts with a love for you. Protect them from harm and lead them in paths of righteousness. For my spouse, I pray that you would strengthen our bond and help us to grow together in faith and love. For my friends, I pray that you would bless them abundantly and meet every need they have. Father, I also pray for my community. I ask that your spirit would move powerfully in the hearts of those around me. Use me as a vessel of your love to reach out to those who are hurting, those who are lost, and those who are searching for meaning. Let my words and actions reflect your heart, spreading kindness, compassion, and hope wherever I go. Lord, I stand on your promises today. Your word is a firm foundation, and I will not be shaken. I trust that every promise you have made is, yes, and, amen, in Christ Jesus, 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. You are a God who is faithful to your word. You are not a man that you should lie, nor a son of man that you should change your mind, Numbers 23 19. I declare that I will see your promises fulfilled in my life, in my family, and in every area where I am trusting you. I trust that you are working all things together for my good, Romans 8 verse 28. Even in the waiting, I believe that you are preparing something greater than I could ever imagine. 
I declare that your timing is perfect, and I surrender to your plans. I will not rush ahead or lag behind, I will walk in step with your spirit, trusting that you are leading me into a future filled with hope, purpose, and promise. As I move through this day, Lord, I declare that I am victorious in Christ. I am more than a conqueror through him who loves me, Romans 8 verse 37. No matter what challenges I face, I know that you are with me, and I am never alone. I declare that the battle is not mine, but yours, Lord, and I trust that you will give me the victory in every situation. I will not fear, for you are with me. I will not be discouraged, for you are my God. You will strengthen me and help me, you will uphold me with your righteous right hand, Isaiah 41 verse 10. Thank you, Father for the abundant life you have given me. I receive every blessing you have for me today, and I commit to walking in faith, trusting that your hand is upon me. I declare that this day is filled with your presence, your power, and your peace. I am blessed and highly favored. I am walking in divine purpose, provision, and protection. Your joy is my strength, and your peace guards my heart. I thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayers and for answering them according to your perfect will. Amen. Every day is an opportunity to declare God's blessings and align ourselves with his will. When we speak his promises over our lives, we invite his presence into every moment. Let this prayer serve as a daily reminder that you have the power to shape your day with your words. Speak life, not negativity. Speak hope, not fear. Declare God's goodness, favor, and peace, and watch as his blessings overflow in your life. Let's now praise and gratitude to God, a morning prayer to begin your day. From the earliest days of my life, there has been a song that has echoed deep in my heart, a simple yet profoundly powerful melody that brings peace to my soul every time I need it most. It speaks to me in moments of weariness or when my spirit feels distant, and the line that stands out to me says, I command my hands to praise the Lord. It has become more than just a song from my childhood. It is a command for my entire being to align with the divine. Every time I hear this melody, it resonates within me, not just in my hands, but in my heart, my soul, and my mind, calling me to complete and sincere worship. This song reminds me that praise is not just about outward actions like raising hands or singing songs. It is about an inner surrender of everything we are, mind, body, soul, to God. And in those moments when I feel the familiar melody ringing in my ears, I realize that my entire being must join in the rhythm of praise, from the deepest corners of my soul to the surface of my actions. Praise transcends mere physical gestures. It's not enough to raise my hands or move my feet to a rhythm if my heart and mind are distracted. True praise means offering every part of ourselves, our thoughts, our feelings, and even our hidden emotions, to God. We must command our minds and wills to focus on praising God, especially in moments when distractions pull us away from Him. Praising God isn't always easy. There are days filled with challenges when negative thoughts begin to surface, whether at home or while I'm driving, and I feel overwhelmed. But even in those moments, I remind myself to return to the song from my childhood. That simple melody pulls me back to worship, and I am reminded that praising God is not about waiting for good feelings or perfect circumstances. It's about choosing to give him glory in all things. 
One of the most beautiful reminders of this truth comes from Psalm 103, where David calls upon his own soul to bless the Lord with everything within him. The psalm begins, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. These are not just words from scripture, they are a profound invitation to bring our whole selves into a state of praise. David doesn't just ask for lip service, he calls upon his entire being, his soul, mind, and heart, to engage in worship. David knew that half-hearted praise was not enough. He understood that praising God with a distracted mind or divided heart doesn't meet the standard God desires from us. God is worthy of full, complete worship, a worship that engages every fiber of our being. Psalm 103 continues, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction. David is reminding us that praise is also an act of remembering all that God has done for us. As I reflect on this, I realize how easy it can be to forget the blessings and miracles God has performed in my life. From the smallest moments of grace to the life-altering miracles, God has been faithful in every season. He has forgiven my sins, healed my wounds, and redeemed me from darkness. When I remember these truths, it becomes clear that my praise must come not just from my body, but from my soul, offering God my deepest gratitude for his endless love and mercy. Praising God is not something reserved for moments of joy or when life is easy. In fact, it is often in the hardest times that we most need to offer God our praise. It is during the trials and tribulations that our souls long to reconnect with him, to remind ourselves of his constant presence and goodness. On those days when praising God feels like a challenge, I command myself to praise anyway. Even when my heart is heavy and my mind is weary, I know that God deserves my praise because of who he is, not because of how I feel. Praising God is a decision, a conscious choice to remember his goodness, to reflect on his blessings, and to offer him thanks, even in the midst of difficulty. On those days when I don't feel like singing or praying, I remind myself that praise is not dependent on my emotions. It is a reflection of my faith in the one who is always faithful to me. And when I make that choice to praise, even in the hard moments, I find that my soul is lifted and my spirit renewed. There is something powerful about offering God praise from the depths of our souls, especially in the most difficult seasons of life. When we choose to worship Him despite our circumstances, we are declaring that our trust is in Him alone, and we are choosing to rise above the storms of life. This brings a profound sense of peace, knowing that no matter what is happening around us, we can always praise God because He is worthy. David understood this when he wrote, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. He recognized that true worship is not just about saying the right words or performing the right actions, it is about offering our whole selves to God, with sincerity and passion. And this is what I strive for every day, to worship God not just with my lips, but with my mind, my heart, and my soul. There are moments in life when we must ask ourselves, am I truly worshipping God with all that I am? Am I giving Him my full attention, my full devotion, and my full heart? These are important questions, because God deserves nothing less than our complete worship. He is not just a God who deserves a few moments of praise when life is going well. He deserves our whole hearts, every day, in every circumstance. God, our Creator and Savior, 
deserves all our worship. He gave us life, breath, and the opportunity to experience his love through Jesus Christ. There is nothing in this world that compares to his greatness. So how can we withhold our praise from him? Praising God is not just something we do on Sundays or when we are in a good mood. It is a daily choice, a lifestyle of worship that transcends circumstances. Just as David in the Bible called upon his entire soul to praise God, we too must call upon our whole selves to worship him. We must remind ourselves that God is worthy of praise every day, in every moment, no matter what life brings. When we praise God with our whole hearts, we are transformed. True worship brings peace, joy, and strength that can carry us through any challenge. It is not just an act of obedience, it is a source of life, a connection to the one who loves us more than we can imagine. So today, I encourage you to offer God your complete praise. Bless him with all that is within you, just as David did. And as you do, you will experience the fullness of his presence, the depth of his love, and the peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. A morning prayer to start your day blessed. Heavenly Father, as the sun rises and a new day unfolds, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and awe. Thank you for the gift of life and for allowing me to witness another beautiful day. Your love and grace sustain me, and I acknowledge your sovereignty in every moment. I invite your Holy Spirit to fill my heart and mind, guiding my thoughts and actions throughout this day. May your presence surround me, bringing comfort, wisdom, and strength as I navigate the tasks ahead. I lean on your promise in Isaiah 40 verse 31, knowing that those who hope in you will renew their strength, soaring on wings like eagles. Help me to rely on your power and not my own. Lord, grant me the wisdom to make decisions that align with your will as James 1 verse 5 encourages. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind, Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, dispelling any anxiety that may arise. As I step into this day, I seek your protection, Lord. According to Psalm 91, I dwell in your shelter and trust in your mighty fortress. Surround me with your angels and shield me from harm, both seen and unseen. Guide my steps today, Lord, as I submit my ways to you, Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. In every interaction, let your wisdom and love shine through me, helping me to discern right from wrong with integrity and compassion. May I cultivate a heart of gratitude as instructed in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, recognizing your hand in every circumstance. Help me walk humbly, Lord, understanding that all good things come from you, Micah 6 verse 8. Fill me with compassion for others, Colossians 3 verse 12, and let me be a source of kindness and empathy. Let the joy of the Lord be my strength, Nehemiah 8 verse 10 helping me to find delight in your presence and in the blessings around me. Grant me patience as I navigate life's challenges, Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23. May my faith be steadfast, rooted in your promises, Hebrews 11 verse 1, and may your love flow through me, reflecting your heart to those around me, 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7. Father, I pray for courage to face every obstacle, remembering your command to be strong and courageous, Joshua 1 verse 9. Help me to live with integrity, as your word instructs, Proverbs 10 verse 9, and may I persevere through trials, knowing that they produce character and hope, James 1 verse 12. 
Fill me with hope today. Romans 15 verse 13, allowing it to be an anchor for my soul during difficult times. Grant me creativity to express the gifts you have given me, Exodus 35 verses 31 to 32, and may my heart overflow with kindness, Ephesians 4 verse 32. Lord, bless me with a generous spirit, enabling me to give freely as you have given to me, Luke 6 verse 38. As I move through this day, help me to recognize the community around me, encouraging and supporting one another in love and good deeds, Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25. May gratitude resonate in my heart, Psalm 107 verse 1, and may your joy be evident in all that I do, Psalm 16 verse 11. Reveal your purpose for my life, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, and help me to serve you and others with the gifts you have entrusted to me. As I start this day, I am reminded of your faithfulness, Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23, and the endless possibilities that lie ahead. Thank you, Lord, for your unending love and grace. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Do you realize that a single prayer can change the course of your life? Today, I invite you to join me in this powerful prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that God can bring transformation and blessings into your life today, let us stand united in faith. Stay with me through this prayer, and open your heart to receive the abundant blessings that await you. In the stillness of the early morning, when the world is quiet and the first light of dawn breaks through the darkness, we find a sacred moment. It is in these precious hours that God's voice often whispers most clearly, offering us guidance and hope. In this tranquil setting, our prayers rise before the Lord like sweet incense, bringing with them the promise of a fresh start and the unyielding hope that comes with placing our day in His mighty hands. When we begin our day with God, we root ourselves in a firm foundation that transforms the mundane into extraordinary opportunities for His grace and guidance. As we awaken to this new day, let us direct our hearts and minds towards the one who makes all things new. Psalm 5 verse 3 reminds us of this profound truth, My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. This verse beautifully encapsulates the power of seeking God first thing in the morning. When we take the time to align our thoughts and voices with the Lord's will, we engage in a sacred dialogue with our Creator, who listens intently to every word we speak. Before the day unfolds its demands, we have a unique opportunity to lay our hopes, plans, and worries at His feet. As Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23 reminds us, through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. Each day is a testament to God's unwavering faithfulness and mercy. Morning time also allows us to reflect on God's word and his promises. In 1 Peter 5 verse 7, we are encouraged to cast all your care upon him, for he cares for you. What a reassuring thought it is to know that we can start our day by entrusting our worries to God. This act of surrender frees us from the burden of carrying our concerns alone, allowing us to experience the peace that comes from knowing He is in control. As we prepare to enter into this morning prayer, let us approach with hearts full of expectation and mouths ready to express our deepest adoration and needs to God. The psalmist declared in Psalm 143 verse 8, Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you do I trust, cause me to know the way in which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. 
As we lift our souls to him, let us do so with the confidence that he hears us, guides us, and walks alongside us throughout our day. Let this morning prayer be a time of deep connection, heartfelt worship, and sincere petition to our gracious and loving Father. Now, for everyone within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer together. I want you to pray this prayer with me, so you can receive all the blessings that come from it. You may listen to this prayer daily as you build your faith and come into agreement with these words. Heavenly Father, Creator of all that exists, I come before you this morning, humbled yet emboldened by your unwavering love and grace. As the dawn of this new day breaks, I lift my voice in adoration of your magnificent creation, acknowledging your sovereignty over the universe. Your mercies are new every morning, and for this, I give you all praise. Thank you, Lord for the breath of life, for the beauty that surrounds me, and for the unseen battles you fight on my behalf. Your provisions are abundant, your protection is steadfast, and your love is unending. I am deeply grateful for the blessings both seen and unseen, for the known and the hidden acts of your kindness. Yet, in the light of your purity, I recognize my imperfections. I ask for your forgiveness, Lord, for the times I have fallen short. In the same breath, I extend forgiveness to those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and embracing your command to love. Cleanse my heart and renew a right spirit within me. I declare, in the mighty name of Jesus, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against me in judgment, you shall condemn. I bind the plans of the enemy, rebuking the spirits of fear, anxiety, and confusion in your name. I declare victory over every challenge and obstacle that lies ahead. Lord, I seek your divine presence in every moment of this day. May your spirit guide my thoughts, words, and actions. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will, the courage to follow it, and the strength to stand firm in the face of trials. In every decision, big or small, lead me in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. In the stillness of the morning, I crave the peace that transcends all understanding. Guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus amidst the noise and haste of the day. Let your peace reign supreme, casting out all turmoil and granting clarity of thought and purpose. Fill me with unspeakable joy, a joy that does not depend on circumstances but on the constant presence of your spirit. Let this joy be my strength, radiating to those around me and transforming ordinary encounters into divine appointments. May my life be a testament to the hope that is found in you. Cover me with your protective hand throughout this day. Keep me safe from harm, from accidents, and guide my steps away from danger. Let your angels encamp around me and those I love, shielding us from the schemes of the adversary. In your boundless love, Lord, let my actions reflect your grace and compassion. Empower me to love as you love, serve as you serve, and give as you give. Let my life be a living sacrifice, pleasing and acceptable to you. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement, standing on your promise that where two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in the midst of us. We lift up our loved ones, asking you to bless, protect, and provide for them just as you do for us. We claim victory over every form of sickness, binding the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. We declare healing over every broken body and heart, knowing that by your stripes we are healed. 
We thank you for the indwelling of your Holy Spirit, guiding us into all truth, comforting us in our distress, and empowering us for every good work. You reign supreme, and under your Lordship, we find refuge and strength. Lord, we commit our lives into your hands, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word, Amen, in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us reach more people and spread the gospel by sharing this video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel, God's Revelations. We appreciate all your support. You are blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comment section, so we can present them before God for your blessings and victory, and so that other believers on this platform and around the world can join us in prayer for you right now. Stand in faith with us as we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Dear beloved viewers, as we conclude this moment of reflection and prayer, I want to remind you of the profound power that lies within each and every one of you. Every morning is not just a routine, it is a divine opportunity bestowed upon us to embrace the blessings and mercies that God offers. Each day, you can awaken to a fresh start filled with hope and possibilities, and I encourage you to make this prayer a part of your daily routine. As you rise with the sun, let the words of this prayer wash over you and guide your steps. Revisit this video each morning, allowing its message to fill your heart and mind with positivity, strength, and divine assurance. Leave it playing in the background, let it become a part of your morning ritual. By doing so, you open yourself up to receive God's abundant blessings throughout your day. So, let us unite in prayer once more, seeking God's favor and guidance. Prayer for daily blessings and guidance. Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts, thankful for the gift of life and the promise of a new day. As the sun rises, so does our hope and faith in your infinite goodness. We acknowledge your presence in our lives and declare that we are ready to embrace the blessings you have in store for us today. Lord, we ask that your light shines upon us, illuminating our paths and guiding our decisions. May your grace cover us, bringing peace to our hearts and clarity to our minds. We pray that as we declare your goodness, we attract your favor and joy in every area of our lives. Help us to walk boldly in faith, knowing that your hand is always with us, protecting us and leading us in the right direction. May we speak life and blessings not only over ourselves but also over those around us. Let our words be instruments of encouragement, upliftment and hope. We pray that you give us the wisdom to recognize the opportunities before us and the courage to seize them with confidence. Father, we ask that you pour out your blessings upon our families, friends, and communities. May our homes be filled with love, joy, and harmony, reflecting your divine nature. Let us be vessels of your peace bringing comfort to those who are hurting and hope to the hopeless. As we continue to gather here in prayer, we thank you for this channel and the connection we share as a community of believers. Let this video serve as a reminder of your promises, a source of inspiration and encouragement that we can turn to every day. 
May it resonate in our hearts and fill our spirits with the assurance that we are blessed and highly favored. Lord, we surrender this day into your loving hands, trusting that you will guide us through every challenge and triumph. We declare that we are protected by your grace and shielded by your love. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Amen. Thank you for joining me in this powerful prayer. Remember, each time you play this video, you are inviting God's blessings into your life. Keep watching, share this message with friends and family, and let's spread the light of His love together. May every morning be filled with hope, and may the peace of God rest upon you always. Stay blessed and don't forget to come back for more uplifting prayers. Together, let's continue to grow in faith and receive the blessings that are already ours. Amen.